Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to create a complete 3D city at night using the Recon 40 animation app. Before we begin, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to Panda Pixels for more awesome 3D tutorials. All right, let's jump right in. Open the app and select the default cube. Delete it. Add a plane, scale it up, and switch to edit mode. Subdivide it multiple times, at least three times for more detail. Select all faces, then deselect randomly twice. This will create a mix of buildings and empty spaces. Extrude the selected faces upward. Then pick some faces randomly and lower their height to give the city a more realistic shape. Switch back to object mode, select the plane and add a new material. Import your building texture and apply it. I'll leave the texture link in the description or you can grab one from Google. In the material settings, set it to pixel so it doesn't look blurry. Add another plane, give it a black material, and place it as the city base. Copy the building plane, move it around, and arrange it to look like a real city. Duplicate the material and use a second texture for variety. I'm using two textures here, but you can add more for detail. Add a camera, set the FOV to around 20, and position it nicely. Adjust some building sizes for a better look. Delete a few buildings randomly to make the city layout less repetitive. Now if you go to the render view, you will see nothing. Now select the building material and decrease the normal and increase the emission. Now boom. Wait, I think I forgot to add the light. There we go, now we have a glowing city. Add a cube, convert it to a volume, and tweak the values to create a soft background fog. This helps separate the background from the foreground for a cinematic effect. Render the scene, then open it in Lightroom, or your favorite editing software. Adjust lighting, add depth blur, and color grade it for a rich nighttime look. And there it is, the final glowing night city render. And that's how you can create a full 3D night city in Recon 4D.